Africa is an amazing place to be. And I think a trip or a safari to Africa is definitely a dream destination. You can see there's two monkeys, one on the left and another one to the right. National Geographic expeditions are unique in that we actually visit projects that are helping to conserve endangered species and we learn what fellow scientists like me are doing in the field to help these species. So I feel that every person who takes part in a National Geographic expedition will leave this place having known that they can actually contribute to good work to help save this world. And that is a message we need to share with everybody. Travel with National Geographic expeditions in particular has a lot of unique opportunities for our guests. When we're going to see chimpanzees, when we're going to see gorillas, we're traveling with doctors, with primatologists, with experts in those fields who can really explain the interactions, explain what it is that we're seeing in a way that you just can't get watching the species on your own. I get to help other people go on that same journey of discovery and connect them with the world around them as well. This is my first National Geographic expedition trip. So this has been phenomenal. The level of detail here, the beautiful places we stay, the wonderful people we meet. Outside of all the kind of the main attractions we have on our itineraries, there are great little things you can do throughout the trips that are really special. Whether we're staying at a lodge that offers a coffee tour in the afternoon, so we pick the young growing leaves. Or a nature hike with one of the local guides. I love that we also get to go on a more traditional safari. And one of the special moments for me, you know, we're doing this game drive and all of a sudden these elephants uh, start to cross the road in a big pack of elephants. And there were babies crossing the road and I just didn't expect to see so much. On our safari cruise, we got to see hippos, water buffalo, so it was really special that we at National Geographic Expeditions really make sure we're telling the full story of a destination, especially when it comes to wildlife. When you come to just within meters of a chimpanzee or a mountain gorilla, something in you actually changes. You look at this animal that is our closest living relative and it's looking back at you, trying to understand your world while you're trying to understand his world. And every moment I've done trekking for gorillas or chimpanzees, I don't come out the same. And I never get tired of this. I can track gorillas 10 times in a year and every experience is unique in its own way. It pushes you to a point where you actually reassess your humanity and you start looking at that moment as being an opportunity gifted to you by nature, being that close to those amazing great apes. I think everybody should return to Africa at one point because this is home for us, this is home for mankind, and for us we always tell people coming here, you are welcome home.